This is Southern Cross News with Joe Palmer. Good evening everyone and welcome to Southern Cross News. Tasmania is the subject of a new world record, with a Belgian bushwalker completing a 52-day trek across the state, unaided and without any resupplies. The 41-year-old says he wanted to push himself to the limit in the state's wilderness and nearly died doing so. This is the relentless environment this Belgian adventurer has been immersed in over the last 52 days. The 41-year-old trekked from Penguin on the northwest coast to Cockle Creek in the far south, breaking a world record. I did it for the challenge and the beauty. <laughs> Perhaps it might be a bit insane. Covering 550 kilometres through untouched and unforgiving terrain, the winter conditions so challenging, he lost his head torch and at one point almost his life. I'm going to remove the water of my sinking boat. I, on the river, I got jammed. I, I nearly drowned uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a boat accident where I lost my main camera. If that wasn't hard enough, he did it unaided, with no resupplies at all. Today, Setting off on August the 5th with this GPS tracker and a 62 kilogram pack. The trek took longer than expected, so the rations he'd carried had to be extended even further. Two weeks, uh, no breakfast, and supper was a glass of hot water with an aspirin or two to, to kill the pain and, you know, to have a little bit of energy. Uh, I kept just the remaining food for the energy during the day. Tasmania can really throw you anything at any time. So going from, you know, relatively wet conditions to then being in freezing conditions. Fellow adventurers say it's an incredible feat. Your body's aching and you have to put on your frozen boots, pack up your tent in the rain and then carry your heavy backpack for a full day. It certainly is a challenge. Louis describes his final days as like walking on sandpaper. He finished at Cockle Creek yesterday, 15 kilos lighter than when he started. There's only tiny bits of intense joy when, when you're on the, on the mountains. This was his 11th world first expedition. It's no surprise he's been dubbed the Mad Belgian. Louise Hedger, Southern Cross News. That's all from the team for now. Thanks so much for your company. Murph and I will see you a little later.